National News with Lisa LaFlamme. Good evening. As this new week gets underway, optimism and dread still define daily life in British Columbia. For all the inroads the province has made against the floods, there's imminent danger tonight it could all be washed away. This is the latest aerial view showing the scope of the disaster. Instead of relief for the storm weary, there are increased warnings of more severe weather on the way. CTV's national affairs correspondent Omar Sachedina is in Abbotsford, where there's fear of a repeat performance. For boating clouds, a clear sign the weather is taking a turn. And now the military's twin mission to respond to the last disaster while readying for what could be the next. So weight-wise, our all-up weight is uh, 11,900 pounds. Captain Chad rodriguez Belanger is the pilot of one of five Griffin helicopters. Today, we joined one of his flights and saw the scale of devastation. Livelihoods washed away, bridges that have collapsed, critical arteries destroyed. The main purpose of these reconnaissance flights is looking at the lay of the land to see where military supports are needed. Right now, we are flying between Hope and Barrett. And if you take a look down there, you can see that this portion of the Coquihalla Highway has completely snapped. On the ground, there is progress. People in some communities around Abbotsford are finally returning home to begin a daunting cleanup. We're taking it one step at a time, but in all honesty, I am so thankful. My heart is full with everybody who came here to help us. Along Sumas Prairie, the floodgates remain fully open with water flowing straight into the Fraser River. Levels have dropped seven inches since yesterday when that gaping hole in the main dike was sealed. But there is also a warning. We are still a long way from being out of danger. A series of storms are in the forecast, including another atmospheric river event Thursday, expected to bring 100 millimeters of rain and battering communities already hard hit. We are talking about rain on snow events, uh, so exacerbating the conditions that have been obviously seen and felt here. Conditions that led to a deadly mudslide along Highway 99 last week. Friends have identified Kevin Hefner as the fourth victim, while a GoFundMe has started for a toddler who lost both parents in that same slide. A fifth person is still missing. Environment Canada describes the forecast in the coming days as a parade of storms that could, in terms of overall precipitation, lead to record-breaking rainfall this season, Lisa, in B.C. Wow, it is just relentless. All right, Omar Sachedina in Abbotsford tonight. And